My name is Dr. David Mason. I'm the lead scientist here at DecisionWise, and I wanted to talk to you a little today about what it means to have been chosen to be a raider in 360 degree feedback. So for those of you that aren't familiar, 360 degree feedback is the idea that someone who wants to work on their professional development is getting feedback from 360 degrees, from their supervisor, their peers, their direct reports, and anyone else that might be supportive of their professional development. And that's one of the key things I wanted to talk to you a little about, about today. So if you don't mind, I'll just like to take two or three minutes of your time and, and talk a little bit about some tips that'll help you give the best feedback possible. So the very first thing to realize is you have been chosen and you've been chosen for a purpose. Part of that is because you have been identified as someone who might be uh, supportive of this particular individual's professional development. And that, that's quite a high honor, I think. Um, part of that is also your opinion is respected. They know they value you as someone who will speak the truth and give them ideas that will help them to better better function in their capacity in their whatever role they happen to be in. And they also believe you to be someone who's going to be fair and accurate. So I think these are all really positive things and I hope you're excited about the chance to be a part of it. It's, it, it definitely is a favor for sure. But it's one that I think will help make everyone's job environment a lot better. So uh, let's go into some of the tips that'll help you uh, give better feedback. One of the very first things to do when you're giving feedback is the idea to think ahead. When you'll, you'll get a lot of questions that are just specific behaviors and you just have to report uh, strongly agree, uh, agree, strongly disagree, or things like that. Is this person extraordinary at this particular behavior? Do they need work? Things like that. So that's easy enough, but give it some thought. We'll also ask you about some open-ended comments, some, some uh, questions on what are some of this person's greatest strengths, greatest areas of improvement, and whatnot. And if you think about those ahead of time, instead of just kind of spitballing off the cuff kind of a response, you'll be able to give stuff that's really good and actionable and will help these people develop. So. Having said that, while you're giving these comments, while you're thinking about these things, I urge you to be respectful. Uh, it's very easy to take this as a chance to rant against someone or, or say, oh my gosh, you always do this or you never do that. Try to avoid superlatives and, and um, absolutes. Those aren't going to help anyone and it's not a, then the person's not able to actually take this feedback and do anything with it. So again, be respectful and things like that. Speak for yourself. Uh, it, it's very easy, again, to say, oh, this person has a certain image or stereotype about them and, and you can speak to that. But if it doesn't affect you, if that's not your particular feelings toward this individual, don't say that. It's really a much better solution to, to speak for yourself and give them the advice and the feedback that affects you personally. That's, again, the whole point of the 360 degree feedback so they can get the different data points from all over the place. Um, another thing that'd be really helpful is just answer the question that's being asked. Sometimes you'll take the question and it'll spur some thoughts and you'll be able to uh, talk about a ton of different things, but we're really interested in the questions. We've designed them this way on purpose so that you can specifically answer these questions in, uh, in a way that's gonna help this person develop. Another one is just be honest. It doesn't help people to say, oh, well, you know, this might hurt their feelings, so I'm not gonna tell them. We appreciate the brutal honesty. Be respectful, but again, be honest. That's what's really gonna help them the most. Be also, when you see the range of the scale, like I mentioned earlier, this person could be very poor all the way to extraordinary. Use the range. A lot of people tend to focus right in the middle and they, and they deviate only a little bit from there. So average to slightly above average to slightly below average. Um, feel free to use more of the range. The more variability in this, the better it's going to be for this person's development. Um, when you are thinking about this. It's a very easy cognitive bias to start thinking in different, uh, we call them the primacy bias, or the primacy, the recency bias, uh, the halo and the horn bias. It's very easy to look at someone and say, and try and come up with, oh, how would I think about this person? What do I think about them? And to come, to arrive at a single instance or example or anecdote and then use that to guide how you answer the question. And we urge you not to do that. Really try and come up with how uh, the sum of this person's experiences and make the grades that you give this, this individual based on that. So thank you so much for your time. I want to give you one last thing before I stop, and that is to assure you that everything here is confidential. We're never going to give your name out. 
Uh, we're never gonna give anything that identifies you unless you wish to be and you put that in the comments. That's up to you. But they'll never be able to find out who you are based on your reports. We always make sure to lump everyone together. They'll never be able to tell you apart from anyone else. And, and so feel free to give the, the best, most honest, most accurate feedback you can. So thank you so much for your time and have fun reading. Mm -hmm.